Alright, daily challenge ranking, let me put in. One of these is my dodge, I don't remember which. Oh boy, this was my last run. This is where we left off. So I had blood blade, bomb, and that. Critical hit, two arrows at the same time, fire grenade, death orb. I had cooldown, time on all skills except grenades. Oh, that's new. Um, DPS for 15 seconds after killing an enemy, and two HP after an enemy dies. Those are new. Oh my god, did you guys see how much damage that fucking thing did to me? Uh, ah, this was two minutes and 29 seconds ago. Basically when I got here, great. Yeah, no, Dead Cells is a really solid roguelike. Probably, like, my favorite of the, uh, roguelikes. Oh. come out of bed. Trinity, I don't understand what is wrong. Like, rebuying the game, paying for it again, is not going to make it work. If it's a problem with the disc, you need to just create an account, buy it digitally. If that's your issue, you need to talk to the people. You need to talk to support. You need to talk to support and tell them the problem so that they can link your accounts. Just buying it a third or fourth or fifth time won't make a fuck all difference. What do you think of the replayability of Vampire? Um, I'm not sure. I do gotta update the title on that note. Game Dead Cells. I did have an account, I plugged in the additional digital code. Alright, well you need to get on the phone with support. Buying it again is fucking stupid, and it's not going to do anything for you. You need to call support. This. You need to get into support chat. You need to get into... You know... Get an email with support going. That's what you need to do. Oh, 
Scorch, I like. Inflicts a critical hit to target us two more arrows. Rampart. Let's go red. guys look way cooler than they used to. I hate the toxic sewers and don't want to go there. I like that just like this swinging is creating fire. percent damage on a bleeding target oh boy Can I? No, I have to be able to. There we go. Totally parried that. Yeah, I am enjoying Vampire. It's pretty good. Throwing knife level 2, greed shield 2, or torch 2. 30% damage to a bleeding target. Oh. Wait. 
Hold the fucking door here. Hold up. Causes bleeding, automatically targets the nearest enemy, and the victims burn. And then the grenade does 30% damage to a bleeding. So basically, I throw a hit knife at them, then I hit them with the torch for 30% more. By the way, you can destroy the door, but you get cursed. Did you know that? Dude, I was playing this game. You were still a fucking twinkle in your father's eye. I ain't getting fucking cursed this early. That's stupid. Down on the ground are in treasure chests into gold. Um Ooh. A nice mutation. For 15 seconds after killing an enemy, minus 43% cooldown on grenades, on s skills except grenades, two dies, ammo for your weapon, it's times two, 30 HP, saves you once. Mm. with that. I can't even use them fast enough. Wow. thing. Yes. Three minutes ago. Not fast enough. Not fast enough at all. Not fucking fast. Mutation was dumb. I did not need that mutation. Need the gardener's key. That looks like an explosive bow type thing, which would be perfect for my. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Oh, 
I'm feeling dead cells? Really, Lex? Maybe it's one of those things where you just gotta play it. I mean, given that I already have that one thing, critical hit the victims against a wall, or, ooh, oh, and the endless quiver. I mean, I don't really need unlimited ammo, because I have double ammo, so I could buy this. The double ammo should be fine. Especially since arrows regen. Increase that. Yes, yes, yes. I still need the gardener's key. Ho 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 Boom boom oh shit no boom 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 boom
don't want to go ramparts just yet. Now, I want to get that key, though. The whole gardener's key thing. Which, I don't know where that's at. Ah, uh, it's not there. Alright, let me take a look at... Shit. What are you going to do when you run into a boss since ammo doesn't regen? I have more than enough ammo for that. So I don't know how I can get through that. The whole area... Take this? I did not. Dance is always fucking sexy. Mm. I kind of got something good going on here with my grenades, though. I think I'll keep it. Port. That was the trope that area that I didn't. This. Oh, here we go. This is new. If I go from higher up. Oh, how the fuck? Come on, game. Let fucking open the damn thing. to get past that. I've never encountered one of these before. You can tell that the jumping... Just, alright, how do you, how do you open, remove the seal? Because this is agitating it, but it's not doing enough. and grab my torch, create fire on the ground. Need the ram rune? Damn, that sucks. 
I need a rune, I'm not doing that. And if I'm not doing that, I'm not getting that key. Because that's time attack. Can't get up there. Hold up. Oh, and this was the jump area that I couldn't go to. Fuck. Alright, I guess, uh... If you get beat the Ossuary Stone mini-boss to get it, the tower needs another rune. Yeah. Well, I guess we can go to the Ossuary, see if we can get a rune. I mean, a lot of this stuff is, it's all, it's new. Shit that was not around. Cycling looks like it would be useful. Um, let's go for that. Considering I'm using the grenades. And to the ossuary we go. Story probably won't be too bad with a ranged build. Okay, I can kill everything before it even touches me. Oh shit, dude! What the fuck? Oh my god, his range is so far. Fuck off, you douchebag! minutes ago. I was super close to getting it. Flamethrower turret is always good. Generates a toxic cloud around the trap and 30% on bleeding. Damn, son, that's good. That's real good. Oh, do I want to spend that much? Yep, yep, I do. I do. Replace the swarm. I like swarm, but turrets, turrets are fucking OP, dude. That's a potent turret. Oh, those are a big combo of cells. This is a terrible idea! 25 enemies! 
for 10 cells. No, 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 no. Oh no, this is terrible. This is a terrible idea. I did not mean to fight the elite. No, 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 no. I did it. I forgot that stone was an elite stone. Oh my God. I just fucked myself so hard. Oh, that was a terrible idea. No. Oh, oh fuck me, dude. I don't want torch. Ugh, I guess that and that. Gotta go fast, like Sanic. usually for a sewer. I don't want to do sewer. your movement speed. Ooh, yes. Oh, baby, broadsword too. Sorry, new infantry bow. Wham! We're going for the big dick damage. Do 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 do. What do orbs do? So your orbs are your cells. Um, gold you build up after the run. Orbs you give to this guy, and you will knock permanent upgrades with. HP after an enemy dies. It's always a good one. Dead inside can be good. Saves you once in the event of premature death. Also good. Let's go for necromancy. I'm gonna, I want necromancy. I want this slow, slow heal. Thanks to Dark Souls 3 playthrough of my very first soul game. Play it long. I'm glad I was able to help. seconds come on game oh man I was going all fucking sanic speed out of my way blum, blum. You 
No, you can pass through elevator. What are you talking about? You keep saying that. Are you talking about that? Just like the elevators. Broadsword is pretty dope, it's just slower. I mean, bumping that up to recover 3 HP after an enemy dies is going to be worth it more than the other stuff, I think. Get smashed! Minus 10%. Get gold as well as a cell. Oh, shit. Dick. Fucking dick smash! Oh, once again, recover 4 HP after an enemy dies. Necromancy gets pretty fucking good. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Something about the look of this game is off putting. It's. I think it's how alien everything looks. I don't know. Maybe. I find it really enjoyable, personally. Swarm of small biting creatures to attack for you. Considering how much I've buffed green, that could be really good. Um, immobilizing shit is also useful, especially considering how slow the broadsword is. And I don't have anything to poison. I, well, I guess I could fucking... I could go for both of these. I could go for this and this. So throw out the traps, right? Traps, hold them down. Toxic. And then swarm 100% poison on toxic to create the wombo combo. I'll come back here later. I'll warp it. Warp back down. Wait, why am I... Warp way up top. I'm gonna buy both of these bad boys. Electric whip? Nope. Um, victim? Oh my god. Victim and mix a toxic cloud. What is that grenade anyway? Infantry. Fix moderate damage. thing again. No! Oh my god. Got him! Yeah, that'll work well, just to hold him in place. Yeah. 
Yeah, holding him in place for the broadsword is gonna be nice. And swarm biters could be good. Anything can be OP in this game if done right. The grenade! Give me the biters! Yes! Trap biters, let's go. This is about to be. No, this game is not finished yet, and it still has all this fucking content. This, dude, Dead Cells is hands down one of the best early access purchases I've ever made. It's like 20 bucks. It's a phenomenal game. Is it on Switch yet? I should pick it up on Switch, just to have it on the go. So you can change items from green to red or purple. So red, basically, is like a strength-based thing. Um, watch this. Red is like strength, uh, purple is more tactical type stuff, and then green is your survival, usually shields, things that have some type of defensive property to them. Like in this case, it's traps, followed by little bugs that fight shit in place of you. That's why they're both classified as green. I just gotta chill here. That's why they're good for survival. Broadsword, also good at survival, because it's slow, but it stuns people. So stuns are good. But if you wanted to, there's a way to change the color of it, because I noticed the sword has a red arrow on it. No, that means... That basically means that the sword is mainly a green weapon, but there's a pinch of red to it. Like it gets a little bit of red. Uh, a little bit of scaling from red. At least that's my understanding of it. I don't think you can just change it. I think that means like it's majority of the scaling you get is going to be green. But if you went for, if you got more red, red scaling will come out more. Whereas like that thing, it's mostly red scaling with a pinch of purple. <laughs> Covers 4 HP after an enemy dies. Can't go wrong with more health. Budgel. Don't want any of those. already fought with the assassin? I'm not sure. But 
Which one's the assassin? I have... I, the last time I really played Dead Cells... So, it had the first boss... The, uh, the scrub dude on top of the ramparts. And then I made it to the eye boss thing. But I wasn't able to beat the eye boss. The thing that's just like a bunch of fucking eyeballs. And that was a while ago. That was the last time I like really sunk some time into Dead Cells. Assassin is a newer boss. I have not fought him then. But since I need a rune, let's go to the ossuary. DPS if you're close to a deployed. Could do that. That should count as a deployed skill. Yep. Wom, wom, wom. While that's active, my damage should be fucking... Hello, I wanted to chat for so long and Twitch needed a verified email and I've done it. I'm so happy. Oh, good. The party. Maybe late, but it's okay. Love you all the same. So much damage. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! God damn. Fucking crazy. Almost killed me. Here we go. Big dick damage! Boom! Broadsword just fucking smashed. Yo. Uh, let me call you back, because I'm streaming. Right. Uh, minus 10 damage received. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. Get gold as well as a cell. Take it. Basically a direct upgrade. Uh, recycle that. What do we got? We got a bow. Three thirty percent damage to bleeding. Uh gonna have to recycle you. Recycle seems super useful though. I'm gonna need to be recycling shit a lot. Ah. Wow. Adam. Oh 
position. Alright, so Shell Boy's gotta go. This is pretty cheesy, but it's working well. Inflicts bleeding, 100% inflicted on enemies, oh, never mind, don't like that. Don't like any of those. I didn't want that anyway. Just standing there. Ooh, what is that? Rare blueprint. Ow! Get away from me! No, I don't know you. That's a rare blueprint. I gotta get out of this place alive now. That. I don't know why I'm like not trusting that thing for HP would be really nice. 
Yeah, I gotta go for the 40% HP. Just being honest, it's too big of an increase for me to not take. Oh! Hey, no, no, I'm good, Cursed Treasure. You can fuck right off. I've come too far. like rapidly burning to your death. I didn't realize that I can stack the burns on this. And it makes it so much deadlier now. I'm just like, yep, just fucking Maltovs, dude. Maltovs for days. Yep, you're dead. Whew. Not the fastest run, but... I am fucking safe. Nothing. Nothing is fucking with me. Like, wait a minute. Was that a guy right there? Woo, woo, woo. Wow. Double gold. was a time trap. Couldn't go that way. That was a cursed chest. Couldn't go that way. Couldn't go up there. There is a scroll of power. I'll have to teleport to. Let me get that. I mean, Dead Cells is a pretty chill game. Most of chat are just kind of chilling, you know? Um, let's see. Damage, damage, damage. I've already capped that out at four. Um, I think I'm gonna want this. I'm gonna want the damage. If I get that higher, it'll help more, but this is helping Firebrand more. And this is more health. 21% is significant. over here. Can increase necromancy higher? Um, I mean, I've been stuck at four for the last couple increases, so I'm not sure how much higher it's going to go. got here douses the enemy in flammable oil percent damage 
Nutcracker or Electric Whip. Oiled Sword could be pretty fucking crazy considering the fire I have. Broadsword is 354 DPS. This is 518 DPS. <sighs> yeah, I think... I think I'm gonna have to replace you, Broadsword. Because I can go... Wum, 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 wum. Oil them on up. These things, I like how this is only a level 1 version, and it doesn't even matter. Even though it's only a level 1, it's still super strong. When do you think the drunk through will continue? I'm not going to assign it a date. I don't know. Like, basically, if I get drunk, it's going to happen. But, that's a big if. You know? I'm not going to make promises, because it's going to depend on how I'm feeling that day, what I've had to eat, if a drunk's going to happen. I don't want to, like, force myself to down booze just for the sake of a drunk through. Oh my god, fuck this thing! that thing. Really need to, like, get out of here with my rare blueprints and all of my good shit. Those tops are scary, man. I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> I just want to leave. Where's the exit? Get caught in my trap. Not to mention, I got 53 fucking things. 
Like, 53 is an insane number of fucking cells. If I die right now, I'm probably done. If I were to drop this many cells, that's, that's probably the, uh, well, boys, it was a good run. Oh, well. I mean, I don't need to skip everything. I can... I can cheese my way through it. Oh man, that's two blueprints I've gotten. I have to get out of here alive! <laughs> oh, nope, stay away. Stay the fuck away. just very far away from everybody now. That looks like an exit. Is this an exit? Oh, we found the exit. Fuck yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. I did not want to be there anymore. Oh, God. Hang on. I got to pee. Whew. Whew. So for those that don't play Dead Cells or are kind of confused, basically, um, so gold you get as you play through the game. Gold is plentiful. You know, you got tons of gold. Uh, your cells, you lose those if you die. So getting cells are fucking awesome. Um, they also are what's used to upgrade shit, like right now. And 58 is a fucking lot of cells enough cells to get a crusher as well as the explosive decoy as well as uh, I don't really know if I want this we'll start working on hunter's grenade but the point is your cells are good your cells allow you to unlock permanent upgrades as you play on what is this explosive decoy I want to try it I want to try it and see what it looks like hit me oh well, that's interesting so, it turns you invisible for 2.5 seconds and attracts nearby enemies. Explodes. Licks 190 damage. 100% damage on a burning target. Swarm. 100. Violently crushes any enemy. How does this work? Is it just, just, just keep crushing them? Is this two traps? They, they take 87 for 6.5 seconds plus 25% damage. 
Violently crush any enemy for 500 fucking damage. That's a lot of damage. Bear Trap was doing well for me, but... Um... Do I want... 30% HP is always nice to have. Crusher does immediate damage, then die. Boom! Alright. Let's go fight ourselves a boss. I got 2,000 health. I should be good. That should be more than enough health to kill this thing. The immortal one. Oh, 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 stop that. Dude, come on. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy shit. Look at my fucking health. What is this? Jesus Christ. Christ, they made bosses so much stronger. Wow, 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 wow. Cleaver 3 large inflicts. Oh, it comes with the thing. Bleeding causes poison. Colorless, the highest level applies. Victim, wait, hold, <laughs> hold the fuck up, dude. Inflicts bleeding. Colorless, the highest level shit applies. It adds plus one to brutality. The bleeding causes poisoning. It also generates a toxin cloud, and the victims burn. So this fucking thing is gonna cause bleed, poison, and burning? Jesus. Cowboy forgot he had heal. Oh, I did. That is right. I did forget about that. Um, I like you, Swarm, but this cleaver is basically like god tier OP. So I'm just gonna be like, boop boop! And anything that walks is just dead. Like, yup, you did. You did. Investing cells permanently increase the drop rate of high quality items. Uh, percentage of items fine will be plus quality. Oh, did I invest those? Oh, no, those are gone. Sorry, I guess I have no fucking cells, because I gave them to the dude. This would be good, 37%. That'd be nice right now. Empire is out. I can go up here if I had that go up thing, which I do not. Stilt Village. Rename this area. Give me the booty, I want the booty. How does the uh, how does this this uh? Oh, so it like sends a like. 
Alright, I see. I see. So, when I throw it... It's like, it just goes wow wow. Oh, okay, okay. Thirteen minutes ago. <laughs> Why not respec mutations? Cause it's not that big of a deal. Tools are so like fucking good. I don't know what the fuck that thing is, but it can fuck right off. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, I still stick by my original uh, conclusion of that can fuck right off. Dude, these new, my new buzzsaw thingies? Five HP after an enemy to die. This sounds absolutely splendid. What do we have in here? Oh, I got rid of swarm. Ooh, firebrands. 30% damage to a bleeding target. 32 damage per second. How much are mine? Yeah, that would be nice. this back to entrance so I'm gonna need about a thousand gold I will be back with thousand gold to upgrade my firebrands an elite Set the fuck down, elite! Electric whip. Victims emit a toxic cloud. 354 DPS. Uh, if I do this, I'm just bam, 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 Like, toxic, dude, whip is so good all the time. But. I like oil, but I don't like getting that close. I really don't. Because then I can just burn them and cook them. And I can grab the new cooking time. Wow, 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 wow. I was just, just light them on fire, and then just bam, 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 while they're stuck in all the stuff. Yeah, gotta do that, man. Nope, you will not approach me. What you got for fucking with me? Another 26% HP could be nice, but 15% uh, damage across the board, also nice. Yeah. I gotta go for the brutality, man.
Don't come close. This is why the whip is so good, man. Double crossbow matic shoots at two enemies at the same time. Each shot 78 damage per second. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to take it, I think. I mean, yeah, 603 damage, but 708 per second? Mm. That's worth 370. This is worth 3-7. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for the double crossbow o -matic. That's just way... That's way more cancer, I think. Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so good! Y'all never get me alive, bitches! It takes many years to become a master of the cheesiness to this level. I'll take that 26% HP. No interest in you. Goodbye, mouth chest thing. I need the village key. Guessing that the village key is probably in here. Key. Ah, yes, I have come looking for the village key, please. Ah, uh, please die, and I would like village key now, please. Thank you. Have you ever played Salt and Sanctuary? I have. It's a pretty good game. It uh, certainly lives up to its description of salt. A game that will very much make you salty. Especially if you aren't prepared for the kind of bullshit that that game comes with.
100 DPS if you're close to a deployed skill. You gotta start getting that up more, you know? I close to deployed skill, 100 DPS, thank you. Oh, calm down there, bad guys. That's the, uh, the legendary mid-air juggle, where you jump in mid-air and just bam, attack in one direction, and you never actually plant down. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. No, 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 no. Fuck those things. Village key. Didn't I have the village key already? Maybe I need to get another village key? Dude, yeah, Salt and Sanctuary... Like, I mean, it's a good game. It is a good game. I won't argue that. However, it will make you fucking rage so much. There's so much bullshit in that game. Like, the fucking unicorns? Oh my god, fuck those things in the ass. Like, whoever made those unicorns, honestly, like, why? Why would you, like, why would you do that to players? Stars, health flash charge, damn, 38 fucking thousand? Unicorns were hands down the worst. I don't think it's possible to get worse than them. Um, I got the village key already though, dude. Like, what the fuck, game? I got the key before. I guess there's another entrance for a village key. Back there. Did I miss that? Did I just not get the key? I guess I didn't grab this village key. I guess I jumped up above. Yeah, I think I flew right above and skipped all this. So, there was that room that I needed the village key for. Should I go in there first, or will I just straight up fuck myself doing that? Here. And if I need a village key to get in, it might be a way to... Nope, nope, not this one. But honestly, like, it's impressive how much they've added to this game over the last... Like... Fair. I mean, I don't know. How long has this been around? A year now? There has been a lot of stuff. Forgotten Sepulcher. Ugh, I don't know if I want to go there. Fuck. So, using my key, I could have gone to the other area, but instead, now I have to go to the Forgotten Sepulcher. Fuck. Oh. 
I don't think I wanted to go to this place, to be honest, but a uh, little bit late now, boys. So what do we got? Uh, 90, 90 DPS if there are no enemies near you. Like, if I'm basically being a cheesy nerd with traps, I get an extra 100 damage per second. I like the sound of that. What is this? Upgrade to plus quality and reforge modifiers. Um... Yeah, upgrade and reforge, sure. Launches a grenade, and then damage when you're at max HP. 100% to a burning. Fucking A+, dude. I like it. 100% um, to a burning. Let's fucking go, dude. 100% to burning. 100% to burning. Burns enemies. Can we be more OP? This is bleed. Which I don't think I'm going to be able to beat that. Because we already got that. Go upgrading it to a higher quality would be nice. Oh, hello, Mr. Prisoner, sir. What is happening, buddy? Uh, I could probably... I could do this. Efficiency, efficiency, support, and survival will all be really nice, but I just don't got the money to give you, bud. So OP now. Damn, this is a 41 minute run. That's insane. Is this a boss? I have not. What is this? What is that? Fucking holy hand grenade or something? Man, this place scares me, dude. I hate these fucking things. Oh, fuck you guys. Stay away from me. basically like mash all my buttons at the same time and everything just fucking dies. Shit. No, 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 ugh. No, no, light, 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 where's the light, where's the light, where's the light? Light, this way, oh my god, this place sucks. Ugh. 
Oh, there we go. Light. Oh boy, here we go. Do you have a build in mind for this run? Yeah, it's called uh, be a uh, cheesy fucking dickhead. It's the uh, be a cheesy dickhead run. As you can see, uh, acting like a cheesy dickhead tends to work pretty well. Got the crypt key. Uh, does that mean I can leave this hellish place now? Are we good? Is that what I came all the way down here for? Um, I got the crypt key. Gotta go this way now. You know what? I don't need you. Fuck off. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Nice. I do not like this place. light source and it's slowly dying thing really not a fan of that <laughs> like, can we like ah oh, fucking get out of here please oh shit no 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 shit 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 oh shit go away there we go some light Oh, man. Oh, wow. All right, so this light, this is like just like a, it's like a halfy light. Oh, shit, no, they break. That's the problem. shit hole. I went I came here by accident. I didn't mean to be. Trust me, I would not come here of my own volition. This place blows. This is my first time here and I can already tell that it sucks. At this point I'm just trying to figure out how the hell to get out of here.
Looks like I gotta go down and get another key. Not doing it that way. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. So I can't go down and get out that way. Guess I gotta go up. Okay, okay, okay. Super bright. Super bright. Super bright. Oh, no. Do I want to fuck with that? Do I want to fuck with that? It might get me a rune. I think I want to fuck with that. Mm. Yes, always. I know... Do I heal before or after? What do you guys think? I only have one heal left. I think I heal before. Oh, nope. One of these guys, he can eat a dick. I'm just gonna hang out right here. I'll wait for him to come down to say hi. Because we know they like to teleport. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, no, 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 I'm up. There we go. Good boy. Right. 20%. Downward smash text burn the ground. Get gold as well as sell. Uh, uh, I mean, 20%, but I really like projectile 75 down. That's nice. And burning, I don't really need. I already got gold as a sell, but it's 20 instead of 10. That's going to boost health. Yeah, it's probably 1900. Three th yeah, it's worth it. All right. Okay. All right, we got out of that with a fair amount of health. Um, here we go. You. Yes. Uh, no, I don't want to go that way. That looks like it's going to be terrible. Let's see what's this way first. The clock room. All right. Ugh, I don't know what's in the clock room. Let me try going down. Oh, it's an elite. This is an important elite, though, it looks like. I can't heal at all. Super OP Cripple Key! Bold Endless Quilla VL Colorless. Shots explode in a toxic cloud. 50% fucking damage to poison targets. Spreads inflammable oil on the enemy. Shots pierce the first target. Mm. I mean, that sounds pretty fucking dope. Um, my cleaver is already causing burn, and then the crossbow 
Well, no, I guess the cleaver's only gonna cause burn if they die. Victims burn. Uh, what do you guys think? Do I replace the electric whip? Or do I replace the fire? The firebrands is consistent burn. And I kind of need the burn. Because 100% burn on double crossbow. But I do like the whip a lot. But bow and endless quest, that's a lot of fucking big dick damage going on with this thing. You know, boom, 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 boom. Hayabusa boots. All right. Uh, we're we're fucking good, dude. Let's go clock room. Let's do it. To the clock room. Fifty-two minute long run. This is insane. Insane. The last kick inflicts area of effect damage and pushes enemies back. Yo. Oh, first let's get that. Um, 25 left. Hayabusa boots sound more badass. Oh, what do we want to do? Spreads inflammable oil on the enemy. Is pretty badass. Shots pierce and bonus to poisoned, and shots explode in a pop poison cloud is pretty fucking dope. This victims freeze other enemies. Hundred percent. Oh nope 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 nope. Reforge. Twenty five percent damage to a stun target. Hundred on burn. Victims burn. Fifty percent damage to a poison target. Victims freeze other enemies. Um. Yeah. Right, I want to go with that. Hundred percent. Hundred and fifty. If you're close to a deployed. Um. What do you guys think? Do I stand far away and go boom, 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 boom with tranquility and use the bow? Or do I go support and have 150 plus DPS boosting my shit? I'm thinking with the bow, Trank is going to be a better option. This is going to boost my supporties. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, necromancy. Oh shit, then I can't take dead inside. It's 30% HP was nice. Uh, do I give up necromancy? Do I want net? What do you guys think? Necromancy or 30% health? Yeah, I'm kind of leaning, leaning a lot towards. Yeah. Then I need the cooldown. Well, necromancy can help, but to be honest, six HP doesn't mean shit when I have eight thousand health. It was good to get me here, but I feel like it's better to get rid of it now. I feel like I'm going to do this, because I feel like this will just be down all the time on a boss fight. And I need to stay close to supports anyway, so let's go with that. This is not free to play. Alright. Never fought this before. No spoilers. Let me get my ass beat. Or absolutely shit on it. Time Keeper. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, oh, ho, 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 what is this shit? Whoa, ho, 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 you can't catch me, bitch, I'm too fast. Whoa, Let's finish this. My build is too OP, you can't take on me! like firebrands but just being like burn 1% of HP recovered per attack 100% damage taken ooh never mind yeah I like that but uh, I don't like it that much ice shard having the the 100% uh, damage taken that's mm-mm mm-mm I just, I can't, even if 1% per attack, you know, doubling the damage I take, I can't get behind that. Sorry. Not a fan of that. Timekeeper just got shit all over, though. Uh. Ice Shod. Brutality tactic. Slows down enemies, inflicts critical damage on enemies in water or oil. It sounds interesting. Done that for now. This is the longest run I've ever had in Dead Cells. This area looks like a boss fight. Like, that's all it is. It just looks like a boss fight's about to happen. Castle is no match for the ultimate cheese. Invest in the blacksmith whenever you can. Key to the castle. Nutcracker. Nope, never mind. 100% damage taken. Trash. Feel the cheese. I have no idea what the Malay stuff is. I, however long it's been since you've played, I'm probably right there with you. 
It's been, uh, I would say, four to five months, if not longer. Probably closer to like six. And we are back with a big dick cheesy build. Let's go. this bar? Th what is the bar that's above my health, that yellow bar? bar. This looks like a boss fight thing. Malaise level is critical. I don't know what the fuck Malaise does, but I'm just gonna keep dodging. Oh! Death by infection. So the Malaise built up on me. Fuck, that's stupid. Aside from damage, you get a stack of Malaise every time you get a hit by one of three elites that hold the keys to the castle. If the bar of Malaise reaches maximum, you die. Well, I mean, it was a pretty fucking good run, you know. That was the uh, that was the farthest I've ever gotten. Can't really be upset with a run like that. It was, uh, oh, it was it was solid. We tried, and unfortunately, we were defeated. It it, it was the best run I have had. But either way.